Hi there, I'm Darren McDermott. The Bank of England today warned banks about interest rates, saying banks and other financial firms need to ensure they can cope with any sudden increase in interest rates. I have Nick Semenkovic, macro strategist at RIA Capital Markets in Edinburgh on the line. Now, Nick, what were your thoughts on these comments today and on the stability report? Well, it doesn't come as too much a surprise. The Bank of England has been signalling for some time uh, the bank should be raising their uh, capital ratios. Um, you know, they should be taking, uh, m- putting more policies into place to protect themselves from any uh, increase in volatility or any shocks to the financial system. And they already announced uh, that there was a significant hole in the balance sheets um, in the UK banks, particularly um, RBS and Lloyds. Um, so the report is very much in line with that. Clearly, you know, they're signalling a very cautious stance and making sure that you know, banks take contingency measures uh, to ensure that if there is a, a further significant deterioration in financial conditions, i.e. interest rates rise sharply, um, then the banks are ready and can actually insulate themselves from it relatively easily. And in regards to this, what else do you think is worth noting? Well, I, I think it's important to stress that the UK banks are in a much better situation than many European banks. Uh, the UK economy seems to be emerging from a recession, whereas the Euroland economy is still in recession, arguably, although there are signs of stability. Um, and, you know, there has been a lot of deleveraging uh, the UK banking sector, whereas the process is still continuing in Europe. So the UK you know, has made uh, significant strides in this area, and Europe is still, you know, still uh, not agreeing in, in entirety in the details as to how they're going to tackle the, the problems in the European banks. A year or so ago, uh, they seemed to want to break the um, relationship or the correlation between sovereigns and banks. Uh, but the recent meeting, uh, the ECOFIN meeting, and uh, the EU summit this week suggests that you know, there's been a compromise, and hence it looks as though there are clearly differences of opinion within Euroland as to how to tackle this issue, whereas the UK has been quite clear what they're going to do, and that's been reflected um, in the last few years. Nick, now let's move on to George Osborne's speech today, where he says he plans to extend his austerity programme into the next parliament, cutting departmental budgets and introducing a new cap on welfare payments. Now, Business Secretary Vince Cable challenges Osborne on his views on growth. Now, what are your thoughts on this? And of course, what side do you take in terms of UK growth? Well, clearly, you know, since this coalition government came into place a few years ago, um, one of their priorities has been you know, to improve the fiscal position, uh, to reduce the debt GDP, and they have implemented you know, fiscal consolidation. So, some people would argue not as great as it, as it should have been. Others would argue um, too much, and it's had a bad impact on growth. But what's clear now is that the latest data, particularly the the forward-looking PMI survey suggests the worst is probably over the UK economy, and we are now in the early stage of recovery, albeit a fragile one. Uh, but judging from Mr. Osman's uh, comments, he clearly doesn't think that the you know, fiscal consolidation program is over. He is mindful um, that it does want it to be too acute because he's already delayed when the debt GDP uh, ratio target has actually be reached. And clearly, is, you know, doesn't want to see the economy go back into recession. But on the other hand, he wants to send a signal, clear signal to the markets uh, that the UK government, the coalition government, remains clearly committed uh, to fiscal austerity and to reduce the debt GDP ratio over the medium term. Nick, thank you so much. It was a pleasure speaking to you today. Well, viewers, that is it for right now. But do take a look at all our interviews and press reviews on the Dukoscopy website. Goodbye for now.